Especially, Especially like since you've like moved back here. True, I have been out of state for a while. So yeah, we do have Phoenix versus Chewy. Chewy, I did hear him select like, uh, Diddy Kong. It looks like he's gonna be rocking with that. I haven't seen this player before, but I do en I do enjoy seeing Diddy Kong. I think that's a really fun character to watch, especially with how technical like the Diddy Kong could be. Sonic again, another one of those characters. Uh, I don't know. He's always been in the meta. All right, so start <laughs> with the dash tag. He's going to be able to try and just stay under Phoenix's landing, but it's not going to happen. Phoenix fighting his way down gets the dash tag to catch the landing. Already has a small percent lead, and you really don't want to be behind him percent against Sonic. It's yeah, it's such it's such an abysmal way to try to bring back something. It's like one of those characters that you really feel like you can't come back against if you're down to a certain percent. Yeah, it's genuinely all your hits feel like it's by virtue of your opponent's aggression there. Mm -hmm. And Sonic is a character that doesn't have to do that ever. We're right. already seeing a lot of the use of the spin dash to weave in and out of Chewie's, uh, Chewie's burst range and just force him into shield. But he's calling out all of these spin jumps. Yeah, it's he's really already starting to adapt to the spin dashes that we're seeing from Phoenix. Throwing out the monkey flips because he knows a grab will beat that. Oh, fuck. Calls a roll in with that dash attack. Oh, forgot that the banana's on the other side of the stage. And it's gone. <laughs> he really ran full stage to just not get it. I throws the banana at the ledge. Pretty classic setup here from Daykong, but Sonic, not a classic character. A ledge trap has these sort of options to go around it. Mm -hmm. Especially that spin dash jump from ledge. It could be so tricky to know when he's going to land. I that, oh my gosh, that did kill. 129. I, I thought he definitely needed a down to an up smash, but just the up smash was good enough. And Chewie taking the first stock. Right, Chewie running out, tries to Z-drop the banana and get some sort of edge guard uh. with it. Doesn't fire, but does fire at least 8%. Got a hit. And now, honestly, all he has to do is keep this stock lead against Sonic. Mm -hmm. He can just kind of chip away and chip away. But he doesn't have to actually do anything more than that. I love the way how Chewie is being super slippery with the way he's landing and all this moving off. He's taking full advantage of the way that Diddy can move, but he's making it really difficult for Phoenix to call out where he's going to be. Usually you see Sonic being that kind of character, but Chewie's just kind of perfecting that too oh and what a good dash attack there from phoenix able to catch the banana on the way it really looked like that was gonna be chewy's in but a well-timed dash attack going fire but chewy just keeping this Hole. damage up chewy is dancing right now i love the way he's playing phoenix is not really able to find his footing every time he's trying to call on landy chewy just seems like he has something for that yeah but phoenix knows that chewy's been going for that z drop banana at the ledge rising up air from ledge is gonna be his option to beat it catches the banana oh, yeah, and then yeah. catches the monkey flip Onto stage with the forward smash, even stocks, but 129% against zero here. This is this definitely isn't some damage that Sonic can't get uh, back under his feet. He can just need that one conversion, and he'll be able to catch us back up. But another banana tricky, into up smash. I love the I love the way the Verge is playing. Like he's just, he's just so slippery with his movement. But yeah, you, we see the like pop gun cancel B reverse there from Chewie. I mean, it's something that we're seeing more and more days do, but it's not an easy tech by any means. Like mm -hmm. Chewie's been able to capitalize on that, use the tricky movement to get that second stock away from Phoenix. But Phoenix, using this opening he's got, has the banana in hand, and now he can just kind of spin dash freely when he no. doesn't have to be scared of the banana in his way. It definitely looks like Phoenix has found his uh, footing right there. He caught a lot of Chewie's landings, caught him doing a bunch of unsafe monkey flips to just pulling banana at the uh, corner of the stage. So right now this is looking pretty decent for Phoenix. Earlier on in the match it wasn't looking too good, but he's finally finding his hits and no jump there either. Oh, that was so close. If he got that back here, it was definitely going to take the stock away from Chewie and even this out. But unfortunately for Phoenix, he does not get it to connect and Chewie's still alive on his second stock. We've already gone through three and a half minutes. We're halfway through this time already. It really doesn't feel like we've been going that long. This has been a real explosive set. I'm loving this. I'll try to read the roll in. I do like the patience from Chewie, but not patient enough. Does get caught with that in air. Oh, oh, that was so cool. I think he, need, he I don't think he needed to jump. I think he just needed to fair there. That would have hit, but yeah. I, oh, I do love that, but he's probably alive still. Ah, so good. See, yeah, there, there we go. We Didn't go. need the double jump. Now, is Chewie gonna stay on stage or is he gonna go off stage? He's oh, going my. off stage on the other side of the blast zone when, with the rising back air out of the spring ride from Phoenix. It's what a call out! The barrel there. I'm so shocked that didn't kill Phoenix. Yeah, I think that was just a frame or two too late. And called him out with the out smash. Thought he was going to go back for the banana. That's really a good way to call out uh, the way that you've been pulling out banana. A lot of players think, oh, he's going to go back and retreat for that. But if you go in, it'll catch him off guard. I've definitely taking... been hit by that my fair share of times as well. Absolutely. 
Good on Chewy for taking game one. I'm loving the way that he was playing. He really was using a lot of Diddy's tech, the way his movement was. He was not making it clear on how he was going to land. And Phoenix wasn't really able to catch on to that till midway through the second or third stock. But I do think it, I do think this next game will be a bit closer. Phoenix at the end was starting to catch on how Chewy was landing and all of his defensive options. Oh, but it looks oh, like, it looks like we're getting the frog. Controls, which likely does mean the frog's coming out. I do think the Sonic can do it, though. Yeah, well, I think the biggest thing in that matchup is Sonic is a character where it's very often up to him when he wants to commit. But Chewie was doing a great job of baiting with the like pop gun D reverses, things like mm -hmm. that. Where he, Phoenix often thought he had the chance to go in, and Chewie was just outside of that range, able to mix it up, able to actually trick him into going in, and got so much damage because of it. Yeah, it definitely seems like Chewie knows the matchup too, the way he was playing around Sonic. Like you said, he was throwing a lot of those peanuts in the way that uh, Sonic would do his spin dash and jump. He was putting it in that space. He was air dodging a lot of the uh, homing attacks, and that's a really good way to punish Sonic. I'll run it right back to PS2. Wait, isn't Phoenix listening to his own music? Or oh, is that his headset plugged in? I think that's his headset plugged in. Never I don't mind. think it's his headset plugged in. We have our own headsets there. He just really wanted the music for your enjoyment. Yeah, going over to the frog. Oh, you know what? It is it is plugged in. He switched it for his own headset. I agree. COVID sanitary, you know? Yeah. Doesn't want to use the same one as Plus, you want to be comfortable with your own headsets. I understand that. But again, going over to this Greninja. I do think this is going to be a good pick, too. The way the Greninja is, he does like to be a lot of... He can mix up where he's going to be on the ground or in the air. And he does have that incredible dash speed, so we can really run back from that monkey flip and then go back in with that dash attack to get his conversions. Yeah, I think he also doesn't have to commit to one single thing. The, the kind of downfall of Sonic is, yes, he's very fast, but his approach option is spin dash. Right. And you just kind of, you can react to when spin dash starts, hold shield, they can't really do a lot about it. Greninja can be a lot more ambiguous with his uh, approach options, his engagements. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's going to be a big deal for Phoenix here. True. I do think Greninja is better while holding Banana than uh, Sonic is too. Greninja does have that sh water shuriken, a real good way to kind of space out Diddy Kong. And he does have that shadow sneak, so he does have options to use while holding the Banana. I, I think the idea here is just to be much more in Diddy Kong's face and actually fighting him. Mm -hmm. Because he's learned he really can't be on his back foot against this Diddy Kong. Definitely. You know, he has to be the one to make the aggressive openings happen. And I think Greninja is a much better character for that as we're seeing so far. Oh, uh, this should be death. Yeah. Up smash a bit committal there, trying to call him out. A little too uh, overzealous on the shoot and gets that perfect down tilt into up smash. 80% was the perfect percentage to hit him with that. So let's see how Chewie does play on the back foot. This is like the this is the first time Phoenix has had to lead this entire set. Oh, and oh, he reads the roll away, but Phoenix just dashing in, pushes him away with him, but... Oh, barely misses the back air. I think he just needed a fair there, and that would have killed. Yep, don't land on my shield. I got that frame six up smash. Well, not too much of a deficit here. Again, we see the, the way that Chewie converts. He does need that one hit to really get his damage off, and this could be it. Unfortunately, not able to find anything after that dash attack. And that's going to give Phoenix all this momentum to run in with double dash at Gear Folder after. And I like, I like the recovery on top of the banana there. True. Phoenix would have had to read that he was going to go for that banana, uh, go into that spot and have to catch the banana with his dash attack. The banana tripped him twice. That's unfair. Hey, bro. Just move away from the banana. Oh, I knew you were going to be there. What a great call out from Chewie. But still, this is a really even game. I do think this Greninja pick is doing him wonders. Right now, Chewie is in that percentage where down to up smash will kill. Especially if he has that banana, that'll be instant death. So he's kind of trying to weave in and out of that area, not do anything too committal. All right, like that charges the down smash. Knows exactly how much time he has to get that out from max damage. I like that air dodge up. If he air dodged the way Chewie was trying to scout that out, he would have got that banana into up smash. Yeah, and even if he gets hit by the banana there, Diddy then has to jump up there, give... Phoenix so much time to actually react to what he's doing and not get killed by the banana. Right. Almost under that back air, but just not dying yet. Tries to get that back air re, but a little too early on the swing. 
Now the second stock would be so important. Both players are trying not to commit. And even the late fair kills. God, those feet are strong. Man, that fair is everything Inkling wishes it had. True. Oh, he got that re-grab, but didn't charge the down smash. Instead went for a forward smash. Maybe thought he was going to go above ledge. I like, the, I like the conversion with the up air into up smash. Trying to catch him going down with an option. Right, dash attack goes with a oh, C wow. drop there. Yeah, I'm mean, trying to end the game. Get me out of here. 17. There's no way that's killing. A bit overzealous there from Chewy, but you know, I love the confidence. Right. Oh, doesn't able to get to the banana. Great water shirk in there. So right now at this point, I do think an up throw will kill from Greninja, but then you have to catch Diddy Kong, and that's easier said than done. Especially with this lead that Chewie's emitting, uh, emitting while getting this lead. Oh, good pair on the photo. Just gonna go for the photo. More damage, stage control. Let's him pull another banana. I think Diddy Kong rising there is so funny. Like, you can't get anything out of it because of how long the animation is. But it just looks so silly watching him spin up there. Right. And catches that, uh, the water pump into the down smash. It was good from Phoenix not just letting him get away for free. Sometimes the player will just tend to miss that. This is still a bit of a deficit, but one Greninja hit, like, it'll be even. Like, one dash attack, he's going to get an up smash, get a lot of conversions. Oh, oh. my god, he was a... He saw his last fly before his eyes. Here we go. Okay, this could be big. The jab block forward smash? Holy crap, that almost killed at 70. A little ambitious on that shadow sneak, but you got to do what you got to do when you're down. Yeah, no, that, that hits, he wins. Like, I respect the go, at least going for it. It's not going to put him in a position where he dies, at least. Able to reset the neutral here, but resetting is not what you really want against Diddy Kong. You can't really land on Diddy Shield anymore. And at this point, Max Rage down to the left smash either will kill or will be a bit too early of the percent, or too late. Oh, no. Oh, he, oh, he, get does, he missed it? Sends too high. Oh, oh gives him the two feet. And the F tilt's going to take it 2 0 for Chewie. It, yeah, two out of three. Why do you look at me? <laughs> oh, no. Ah, <laughs> right, yeah. So this is top 24, but it's only winner's quarters. The best of five starts at winner's size. I was so worried. He looked at me. I was like, oh, God.